Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building the 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse from the Fast and the Furious. I am back on PC uh, because this video wouldn't be possible if I was to do it on my PS4 because this uh, livery that we need for this build isn't currently available in GTA Online. So I am in story mode on the PC using Franklin, of course. Uh, so let's start this video off by grabbing the car that we need. So for this build, we are going to need the Maibatsu Penumbra. So we're going to go into vehicle spawner uh, in the sports category. Let's grab the Penumbra up. There it is. So if you guys want to purchase this in GTA Online, I think it costs about 24 grand to purchase in Southern San Andreas uh, Super Autos. Or you can try and find it on the street because you can find this car on the street and take it straight into LS Customs and do that. It is perfectly fine. Uh, so what we are going to do, we're going to take it into LS Customs as usual. I'm going to customize it in there. Uh, but then I'm going to have to bring it outside, go into the menus mod and add delivery that way. Because um, even now in story mode when I go into LS Customs, the, the delivery option isn't available. So I am going to have to go into the menus mod and add it in that way. So without any further ado, I'm going to get into the LS Customs and then we're going to see what we think. So let's get in there. So to start this build as always, we're going to go into the armor and purchase 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to get the race brakes for the bumper. Front bumper, we are going to go with this custom front splitter. For the rear bumper, you just want to stay stock. Then, of course, for the engine, you want to get the level 4 engine upgrade. For the exhaust, uh, the stock exhausts are pretty puny. These ones aren't much better. Um, so we are going to go crazy on this bad boy and get the titanium tuner exhaust. Then we've got the grill. I don't think we're going to change this. Because even though it looks a lot better with the exposed intercooler, uh, it's got. Uh, then it also gives you that carbon trim across the front. And we don't need that. Not at all. So uh, we need it all color coded. So we're going to stay stock for the grill. Next we've got the hood. You do want to grab this carbon hood. Then we're going to move to the lights. We'll go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Then the neon kits. We'll go get the front, back and sides. And for the neon color, we'll go get lime green. So then we're going to move on to the respray. We're going to start with the primary color into the classic. Uh, because we are going to have a livery on this. And like I say in all my videos um, on builds that I have liveries on, I don't like to use the metallic because it gives that pearlescent shine. And uh, the pearlescent shine don't own, all only go on to the paintwork also goes on to the livery as well which i think is a bit strange so i always go classic with cars that have got liveries on and once you are in the primary color you want to go and grab this lime green next we're going to go to the secondary color you also are going to classic and purchase lime green so the next option we've got is the roll cage i'm going to stay stock for this because when you add the roll cage it gives you these red seats and i don't think they look all that great and i'm pretty sure that the car in the film doesn't have red bucket seats and but luckily enough as stock we do get some quite nice graphite bucket seats anyway so i think this you know the stock no roll cage option is definitely the best one to go with then we're going to go to the side skirts you want to grab these ones custom skirts one for the spoiler we're going to get this gt wing then we're going to go to the suspension you want to get a competition suspension transmission we're going to get a race transmission and obviously the turbo tuning so next we're going to move to the wheels the wheels that that we've actually got right now are really close to be honest uh, they're a little bit more deep dish than we need so we are going to quickly go into the wheel type. Uh, I'm going to start with a sport and see what we've got in here. So after a little while of debating with myself back and forth on different types of rims, I'm going to settle on these Duper 7s, uh, mainly because the car in the film, the rims are a 7 spoke. And these are the only 7 spoke rims that I can find, uh, which look similar to the ones from the film. They're not identical, but in my opinion, they are the closest that we've got in the game. And uh, I actually think they look really, really good. So yeah, you want to go with the Duper 7. And last but not least, whilst we're in LS Customs, we are going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. All right, so let's get this bad boy out on the streets. We're going to get into the menus mod. And we're going to put this livery on. Boom. So we're going to start in the vehicle options. It's going to be menus, customs. Uh, pretty sure it was in the Benny's Low Runner mods. There we go. We've got the liveries. And there, we, there it is. That's what it's called almost had you that's what it's going to be called and anybody who's a fan of the franchise will know that that's exactly what paul walker says to vin diesel uh, after that race he almost had him dude almost had you there it is that is delivery that we've been wanting for such a long time for this vehicle because the penumbra has been in the game since day one and um yeah and for some random reason rockstar's released a load of random liveries for random vehicles which is awesome and uh, i'm really happy that they've released this one into the game file so far they haven't actually officially released it to everybody online as of yet um but when they do 
I think the Penumbra is going to be one of them new vehicles which is going to be revamped and people are actually going to be driving it again. And because this looks fucking sweet as hell, man. That livery actually looks really good. Uh, look, look at the same with all the liveries and all the cars. They're not identical to real life counterparts, but you can tell what it's supposed to be. You can tell this Penumbra is supposed to be an Eclipse. You can tell that this livery is supposed to be from the Fast and the Furious. And yeah, again, I think it looks awesome, man. So as always, guys, you let me know what you think of this car build down in the comments below. It's always appreciated. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like. And if you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.